hell is everybody? All right, we're gonna do some notes today. I was gonna teach a lecture, but uh, I got this cold, sinus type, flu sort of headache type thing. It's been bothering me for like two, three weeks, and uh, vertigo's all out of whack. I had teachers meet this morning, my printer's broken, and I couldn't get to my computer, and couldn't print out worksheets, so we just gonna watch a video today. All right, this video is a uh, advertisement on North America. All right, y'all take notes because it might be on your exam. We have a really big French test today, Mr. Sutton. Can we get a study hall? Hey, shut up. Make me lose my focus. North America is filled with bustling cities, enticing tourist destinations, beautiful countrysides, immense, seemingly endless rolling hills, and the world's most wonderful beaches. However, there are many places that a tourist, possibly you, haven't heard of or aren't quite so sure about. Some are tropical, some are cold, some are new while others old. Now, when you're looking for a place to travel, please consider all these possible paradise destinations. This breathtaking Ontarian landscape is known as Blind River. This town, although having only a population of about 3,800, is world renowned for its golf course. Our bustling seven church community is very fun and diverse. Blind River was founded by a group of French explorers, uh, huh, having to stumble upon it, if you know what I mean. They were interested in mining, the fur trade, and logging. Now, recently, in 1955, some joggers found uranium deposits just outside of here, right over there. Now, uh, a couple years ago, 1983, we had a population explosion when a uranium refinery claimed Blind River as its home. Three years later, in 1986, the blockbuster film Youngblood featured Blind River. Now, as all of a sudden, in our eyes at least, we were in the national spotlight. Welcome to Quebec. Uh, here in uh, Quebec, uh, we have uh, lots of uh, baguettes and uh, croissants. Uh, we love to eat the uh, baguettes and croissants before dancing. And our uh, national symbol is the uh, Iris Vesicana. So come to Quebec and dance with us. Dans le parc. Où il est mis À la bibliothèque. Et la musique danse. À la discothèque. Et les discothèques. Zé, zé, bébé. Un, deux, un, deux, trois, quatre. Fou de fa fa. Fou de fa 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 fa. From here, we travel south across the border and into the United States. While in the United States, we first visit the magnificent state of Mississippi. We've pulled aside the runner-up for governor of Mississippi to tell us a little bit about his home state. You ever hear the phrase, best thing this side wet? 
east of the Mississippi. Well, they're, they're talking about the old country. And here in Mississippi, we're far ahead of the technological curve for the rest of the country. We figured that a higher obesity rate means more agricultural supply and demand. So, we have about a 30% obesity rate. That's 3 out of 10 for y'all who can percentificate numericals. We call these individuals successfully obese. Mississippi is also the home to uh, nine interstates, two of which are future interstates. We all just know that's a fancy term for space highways. We, um, we also host the, uh, the USA International Ballet Competition. It's a little bit contradicting because it's the United States' international ballet thing. Uh, we got a river named after us. Um, it's Mississippi. If you may have heard of it. Makes us feel pretty special. Uh, we also have a surplus of country buffets. Squirrel stew. So come and visit us here in the old country. Mississippi. Looking at a map, it can appear to be only three to five inches away. But in reality, it's many more inches than that. I'm talking, of course, about Utah. As you watch Mr. Galifianakis, please consider Utah as your next honeymoon paradise. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where it all started. Mount Pleasant, Utah. <coughs> Utah, sorry. Nervous. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is where it all started. This is probably what'll end. Me. Alright, let's go back. Are you comfortable now? Is it, is it rolling? You get, you say, you say action. Do, do you guys, do you guys say action? Like when I was watching, I was watching Entertainment Tonight on the behind the scenes of the George Lopez show, and when, before he would start talking, they would say action. So, uh, if, if you could just, you know, say, I mean, I know George Lopez, but, uh. Action is usually reserved for a film shoot when they mix the audio with the film. What we're shooting today is video. It's, it's just one word, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Your political belief system, what is it? Is it important to you? And does faith also play a part of Seth Galifianakis? Well, well faith is, uh, faith is uh, important. I'm a, I'm, a, well, I'm a youth minister. I'm a, a Mormon youth minister in charge of the youth uh, chili cook-offs. Um, hosted by the, the Latter Day Church of the Latter Day Saints, but that, well, that's what they call it now. But I prefer Mormon. What else? Well, what I'm about to say, I'd, I'd rather not uh, do it because um, I don't want to be accused of anything. Do you do that thing where it's like it's like a silhouette of the person and d disguise who they really is, and then they hide their voice with like it's like a it's like a, a monster voice or robot voice or something? Can, can we do that? I suppose we can equalize, equalize your voice. Please, elaborate. I hear polygamy used to be very popular. Well, polygamy used to be a big part of my life. But now it's illegal. I have this Mormon friend of mine, and uh, one of his house is a picture of her. And I knew that I was like, well, I always pay a year or so. I pay for the grocery store. And I was like, well, who's that? And he was like, this is Janice. And I was like, well, who's Janice? And he was like, Janice is my little wife. It's, uh, it's called polygamy. He broke the law that day. Yeah, he broke more than man's law. He broke God's law, Seth's law, Matthew's law, law and order. Thank you. 